Hello everyone. Good evening. If you're watching this when I just posted it, good morning, good afternoon, depending on what time you're watching it. Um, tonight's video is going to be a first impressions. I'm going to be reviewing the new Morphe Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer. And I was really, really curious, so I got it in white. Because I've never seen a white concealer before. So we're gonna we're gonna try it together and see how that goes. Um, and I'm also going to do a review of the new Venus XL Edition 2 palette that just came out. So we'll see how those are working, but first I wanted to put my new giveaway item in the giveaway box. It is the Vegas Nay Limited Edition two-piece blush set. It comes in a box like this. And when you open it up, it's got really cute packaging. You have three different blushes and a blush brush. So cute little set. I think it's adorable. It's going in the giveaway. And, um, you know, me and a couple other YouTubers have been talking and I know that a lot of people subscribe to my channel or subscribe to other people's channels just for giveaways. And I totally get that. Like I get it. Um, I like winning things too. I never win anything on YouTube. So it's a big deal and it's exciting and you know, it's free makeup, so that's awesome. But I really do hope that, you know, if you come for the giveaway, you stay for the content because it means the world to me to be able to, um, you know, just share my life a little bit and share some tips that I know just from being in the industry. And and you guys are such great support to me too. So like I said, um, cause I've had some sour pusses, I think that, have gotten a little upset because they didn't win a giveaway, but you know, not everybody's gonna win, especially if I'm picking one winner. So, um, you know, just hope that when your time comes, your time comes. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. I mean, it is what it is, but you know, if you're just liking me for the giveaways, I'm not gonna always be able to do giveaways. I'm not sponsored, I'm not affiliated, I don't get paid on YouTube. So everything that I do for giveaways and everything that I buy and you see me wearing is stuff that me, I've earned with my hard-earned money. So, um, I do what I can, and I hope that's enough. So, I'm gonna go put my face on, because this is serious today. Um, and then I'll be back to try the concealer. Ooh, it's the ghost of no drama makeup, mama. <sighs> so, this is just foundation and primer. And so, now I'm going in with the Morphe Fluidity... Fli Fluidity Full Coverage Concealer. Um, I know there's a lot of controversy about the foundation. Guys, this is white. So I'm gonna put this on. And we're gonna see what happens. So, um, well, I can't get it open. There we go, okay. Oh my gosh, this is straight up white. Okay, so I like the doe foot. It's one of those that's flat on both sides. So it kind of like lays against your eye well. Oh, wow, okay. Um, Baby, am I beautiful? Always. <laughs> Hi, baby. My son is hugging me, if you can't see. Okay, so this is, um, this is white. But I've heard people that liked it, so we're gonna, I mean, I might be highlighted, uh, highlight central. All right, so I'm gonna blend this out. Okay, so it blended out really well on my face, but under my eyes looks insane. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some setting powder and try to, I don't even know if I wanna bake because I don't know if I wanna make this, I don't know. We're gonna see. I'm gonna bake, let me bake and see how that goes. <laughs> Set. Okay, so I'm gonna wipe off my bake. Look at this. Ah. Alright, so I really like the effect that it gave my like T zone. What? Is it look bad? Larry has his hand. Oh, excuse you. 
wow, the real mm -hmm. life. Okay, but, I mean, maybe if I was paler, mm -hmm. but it's also settling into my fine lines under my eyes because it's that soft matte. Maybe I would like it better if it was my color, but I wanted to try the white just to see how crazy it looked. Does it look crazy? Well, all right, well, I'm gonna finish off my face and make it look as less crazy. So I don't, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I would use the white maybe for highlighting, but I don't know if I'd use it under my eyes again because it's, it's real crepey under there. So I'm gonna go fix the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come back and swatch some line crime colors for you. Alrighty, it took a lot of work, but, and it still looks a little crazy. So my take on that is, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that towards the end. But now I'm gonna have my hubby, my assistant, zoom in on my arm so that we can swatch this palette. So if you would please, I am taking the plastic off of it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'll, so what I'm gonna do is I'll just swatch from the top. So I'm gonna go into In Bloom, Crown, Sage, Thorn. So that's In Bloom, Crown, Sage, ooh, Thorn. Ooh, that's really pretty. Let me wipe my hand. Eh. Sorry, I make a washing my hand so I don't fudge it up. This is Ripe, Forbidden, Stella, and Myth. Ripe, ooh, ooh. Forbidden. What is this, Stella? Ooh, that's really pretty too. Yes. And Myth. Okay, all right, long car. All right, now we're going into Eve, Laurel, Radiant, and Ivy. So Eve, Royal, Radiant, Ivy. Excuse my fingernails, I know they're dirty. Oh, Ivy is gorgeous. You see that gold shift it has to it? And I got this palette, one, because I wanted to try it, but for you guys, but two, because you don't get a lot of palettes with pretty greens. And as you can see, there's already three really pretty greens. All right, so now I'm gonna go into West, Obscure, Mystic. These are really creamy too. And Phoenix, we'll see how they do on the eyes. Cause you guys know that that's West, Obscure, Mystic, Phoenix. Ooh, see, but those two colors look a lot alike to me. Um, and you know, you guys know that swatching is different than putting it on your eyes, or I hope you're aware of that. Then the last two colors are Locust Ew. and Classical. There's Locust. Whoa, nope. There's Locust, which is actually a really pretty color, and Classical. Ooh, that one's a little chalky. So of all of them, that's the only one that is chalky, and a lot of times dark browns are. But those are the colors. You can tell they're kind of like... I don't know, I wanna call them like, it reminds me very much of like Renaissance spring kinda, you know, pinks and greens. So I'm gonna do a pink and green look. So I'm gonna prime my eyes and be right back. All right, so they don't have a, of course they don't, have like a matte base color. So I'm just gonna use some of my, um, my Cody Airspun because I wanna be able to get an honest review of this palette. And I do appreciate my husband's set off camera. These are really soft, kind of muted spring colors, which is really nice because lately the trend has been either all nudes, like brown toned stuff, or like super bright colors that are pretty to look at, but they're not as wearable. So this looks very rare, re very wearable so far. All right, so I prime my eyes with that Cody Airspun powder. That's a trick if you always, if you um, get a palette and you don't have a color that's a good base color for you to put down, you can always use your powder. It's not a big problem. Do you like my new cup? I got this just for filming. It's special. Okay, so to start my look, I am trying to do a green look. So I'm gonna go in with Sage, which, did you see that? Sage. I'm gonna go into Sage with my Morphe fluffy brush if I can find it. I have all my brushes out and I can't find the one that I want, of course. Okay, well, we'll just go with this one. This is a Morphe R39 brush and I'm gonna go into Sage, tap it, 
You always tap just in case. Oops. I'm just gonna use this as my transition color. Okay, so that was a transition color. It went down really smoothly. I didn't have to put my uh, brush back into the pan. It's a really nice kind of like sage green. I mean, it's pretty true to form. It's a little darker than I would normally do a transition, but I do really, really like it. So now I'm gonna go in and kind of darken it up a little bit more with, I wanna do kind of like pinks and greens. So as crazy as this sounds, I'm gonna go in with In Bloom to deepen my transition. I know that sounds weird, but it'll work, trust me. Okay. So these are gorgeous, and this might be my new favorite palette. Um, if you look, I did, what I did is basically just go a little lower on my eyelid with the in bloom color and kind of just blended it up into the green um and you just want to when you do stuff like that you just want to make sure you blend really well so there's no striation marks and there's no like those weird where your brush skips because as long as you blend it looks it looks good so now that i've done that i'm going to deepen up my corner so we've tried the mattes we know the mattes are good so i'm going to go in with locust which is the darker green with that is that the one with the gold shift no ivy is the one with the gold shift Okay, I'm gonna go in with Ivy and put it all over my eyelid. Eyelid? Yes, eyelid. I said it right the first time. So I did have to push a little bit more in, obviously, with the shimmers. You know, they don't come out as true color as the mattes. But I do think this is starting to be really pretty. And I do want to play with, just so you guys know, I'm gonna go a little overboard because I want to play with as many of the colors I can to see how, which ones are the most wearable um so i went in with ivy and i'm going to deepen the outside with locust which is that darker green color and i'm just going to do that part with in the corner of my eye and i'm going to use my sonia g brush that i got from you just opened a door larry to our vehicle <laughs> he keeps his keys in his pocket and all the time is like opening the tailgate opening the van slide door and i can hear it all right, so I'm going in with Locust. Okay, so if you can see, that didn't really do a whole lot. It just kind of added a little bit of dimension. Um, these colors are blending like a dream, though. So, so, so far, I'm very satisfied with this purchase. I will definitely, and these are colors that I don't have. So, I will definitely be using them. Um, I'm going to, just to kind of emphasize that pink, go in with the color crown, which is right next to In Bloom. And I'm gonna go right in, this, ooh, ooh, right in the center of my eye with a MAC 213 brush. If I can find my MAC 213 brush, there it is. Okay, so I don't like that as that color, so I'm gonna use Eve which is a darker color, because that's showing up like white. There we go. Okay, so now since I am trying to play with as many colors as possible, and you know, I just wanna have some fun, I'm gonna go in with Obscure, which is that like mint green at the bottom, and I'm gonna blend out my crease a little bit more, just to make it a little bit more snazzy. Okay, so you can see that that didn't do a whole lot. It just kind of lightened it up a little bit. And I did that because I want to go a little darker now. So I'm going to go with this kind of plum brown color West with a MAC 213 brush. My other MAC, no, MAC, this is MAC 242 into West. And just create that V if it'll show up. See, I don't think it's really showing up. Mm, I'm going to actually change this and go to classical, which is that dark brown. 
There we go. It does have a little bit of fallout, which happens. Okay, so I want more pink. And I'm not sure how to get more pink. I think this Mystic color is going to be my best bet. So I'm going to use this Mystic color right here to kind of finish it off. And then I'm going to use Stella in the corner of my eyes to give myself a highlight. So let me do that. Okay, so for last step, I'm just going to go back into Sage to emphasize the green because it kind of went away a little bit. Um, so I'm going to do that one more time over, and then I'm going to go with In Bloom and go under my eyes, and I will be done. Yeah. Alright guys, so I'm going to go off camera and finish putting on eyeliner and mascara, and I think that's it. And I'll be back to tell you my final thoughts. Okay, so my finishing thoughts and remarks. Um, first impression of the Morphe Fluidity, you know, maybe if I tried another color, I think, you know, I did the white because it's gimmicky and I thought maybe it worked because I'm very pale, but I think it would look really good in photos, but I don't think it translates to like everyday use. Plus I'm seeing a lot of wrinkling under my eyes and crepiness, so we're gonna stick to Catrice because that's what works. Um, as far as the Lime Crime palette, it is worth the money. It is so nice. Um, you know, you see a lot of people coming out with either neutrals or brights. This is a palette that I feel like you can use every single color in the palette. Um, they're all wearable. They're all creamy. They, the only thing, the only little tick, which is not really a tick because, you know, Anastasia Beverly Hills the same way, there's some fallout. So I would recommend probably keeping your bake on while you're doing your eyes so that you can wipe it off and won't have dust and stuff there um but other than that like the colors are just gorgeous um i really like it i like the i like that it has some warm colors and the greens and the pinks it's just very spring and romantic and they're soft colors so it's kind of like even if you're if you're new and you're just trying to test out some stuff this is definitely a palette where you you can't mess up um so i would definitely a plus recommend this it is a winner, um, and that's it. I will be uploading my 10 minute tips tomorrow, so stay tuned for that if you wanna learn how to do the perfect red lip. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and your subscription has to be set to public in order to enter my giveaway. Um, I will list all the rest of the makeup I'm wearing down below, and you guys stay beautiful and have a wonderful evening.